What's going on, guys? Sinjin Half Funk here with Team Absolute Awesome. We're also here with Quezzy. Yo, what's going on? We're doing a we're doing a little bit of a dual uh, a dual uh, video here. Uh, and our boy, uh, I actually don't have your name yet, sir. Joseph Gold. Joseph Gold. And you just uh, you just top forward and split for finals for uh, the CM Games El Dorado win a case. Yeah, yeah. Which is pretty sick. It's pretty sick. And what did you play, sir? I played Sword Soul Tinny. What? Mm -hmm. And how did it do for you? Uh, this deck's broken. Yeah, honestly. you enjoy it? Yeah. Okay. Broken. <laughs> Broke. <laughs> okay. Well, let's, uh, I guess we'll just kind of jump right into it. Yeah. Um, it's pretty standard. Uh, three Ecclesia, three Moi, three Long and two Taya. Um, these are like pretty standard ratios. Some people think this card at two is like okay in the Tinny variant, but like this is the best starter because it gets you to either of these. Mm -hmm. uh, this card's like low key, maybe the better one. Cause like it banishes stuff from your grave that you can later add back with Adara, and like just, you can banish Blackout to play around Imperm Valor, like stuff like that. Card's crazy. Um, the Tinnies, like three of all of them. Good. good. And what's your reason playing three Dark, three Light, three Vessel? So the Tinnies are like only good if you draw more than one of them together. Like just a Vashuda or like just an Ashina like doesn't really do a whole lot on its own. So you want to draw like two of them because like going first like two of any of these like if one of them includes these you can make Chaofeng or going second like it makes a Baxia and that like baits out a lot of stuff like you can't really Imperm or Valor like these cards you have to Imperm or Valor the Baxia and you already established like a lot of presence on your board once you're at that point. So consistency more than anything. Yeah. Why'd you end up cutting the water one? Uh... I don't have a good answer for you. <laughs> uh, it, was, it was really good with uh, Heavenly Dragon Circle, but that card's absolutely awful going first. Like, it just sits in your hand and doesn't do anything. Um, there were some times it actually came up, because you can, like, when you banish Blackout with Taya, you get an extra token, and then you can send Ashina, or, uh, yeah, off of Taya, and then banish it to some of the water one, you get an extra level 8 sinker. Oh. So nice. it's like, it's, it comes up. But yeah, it's just not necessary. I played Protoss cards in the insane. main deck. This card's broken. This card's probably bannable. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be surprised if this card's banned yeah. in January. So uh, that's definitely a main deck card. People should run. So you you should play it in smaller tournaments because like five six rounds. Once you get to top cut, you know what everyone's playing already. So like. You know, you sit down next to your opponent, and you're like, oh, you're playing PK. Uh, Pro is called Dark. <laughs> right. And they, go, and they go to game two. <laughs> but at a bigger tournament, you probably shouldn't main deck that. Should uh, be soluble? Yeah. yeah. Uh, three Emergence and one Summit. I'm not a huge fan of this card personally, but it kind of went in today. It, like, sort of does the same thing the Water Tinny does, just in a different way. You just have to waste your Chi Zhao search on this. Um, it was fine. I would probably still play it. Three desires. Card's broken. Yeah, it's broken. It's just draw two. Three droplet, three chalice, and three imperm. So I got, a, I got a, something I want to say. So I was telling another player that having forbidden droplet and chalice, where if you chain chalice, like on stand my face, they, ch they chain something, you can chain drop it on your forbidden chalice and negate like three, four cards. Mm -hmm. So I, I think heavy fit negation is really, really big in this format. And I was telling him he feel like that was a correct call, but he decided one to nine. How you feel about the nine? Uh, I think these cards are broken. So uh, anyone who's seen Walter Jewel's list probably noticed that my deck is the exact same as his. Uh, so shout out to him. Yeah, shout out Walter Jewel, uh, Elijah Green's best friend. Um, <laughs> two black and one. Um, so the only difference between mine and his lists are instead of. These six cards, he played Ash and Valor. I just prefer these. Yeah. Because if I draw Ash or Valor as my sixth card, I'm fucking sick. So just no other hand traps. Yeah. Just those. Yeah. Just break the board. Just yeah, break we, the board and kill them. Breaking your board and killing you. Shout out the dude who <laughs> likes this card more than any. <laughs> uh, three Monk. You gotta play three. Monk's so good. You gotta play three. Shaman, and this is probably the only weird card I play. Wow. Yeah, I never summoned this card, but <laughs> how you feel about the link three? Don't it like hurt your Tenji guys, or he do something? Uh, so you summon him like really weird game states where you're like already making Shaman and just like you've dumped all your cards already, so you just have to like Shaman back a guy and like bait another interrupt. And then like when you summon him, you probably already have two monks in grave, so he says you can pop cards 
monsters your opponent controls up to the number of non-effect monsters in your grave or on your field. So it's like a pop two. Nice. It, it could probably come up. Uh, the other standard stuff. I made this more than I thought I would because I played four rounds of Eldritch. It's not uh, what I was sounds, expecting. Sounds yeah, horrible. Dry Guy yeah, is really, terrible. really good. Terrible. Dry Guy is really good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, to this, to this. This is the best card in the extra deck. By yeah. Far. Card's broken. Yeah, it's good against Scott Striker. It's good against everything. Everything. You, you summon it, say spin two, chain droplet or it's, something. It can't be targeted. Good. It can. Uh... It's standard. Everyone knows what these cards do by now. The broken stuff. Yeah. Uh, Chow Fang, you know, I played one Drytron, and this card... You, you just ask them if they have Dark Ruler or Droplets. <laughs> you just ask them. <laughs> uh, side deck, I played three Droll. Uh, it's just like the best hand trap versus Birds and Drytron. It's so good against Birds. Those are the only decks you really care about. Like, every other deck you can kind of just, like, beat naturally with your engine. So, like, you have to play a card for those. Uh... So, like my teammates, I decided to play Mystic Mind. Oh my god. <laughs> All of you. Because yeah. we realized this card's like pretty good right now. Uh, and this deck has a uh, kind of a cute interaction that I found out where if you summon Baxia under mine, you can target itself and another card your opponent controls, and you spin it back to your extra deck and their card. And you can just loop it like every turn until they have like one card left, and then you just spin your own mine in their card and just kill them. So, I never got to do it because I played four rounds of Eldritch again, but. It was there. It was an option. Uh, three Dark Ruler. It's Dark Ruler. Uh, three Cosmic Cyclone. This was in my deck almost every game today. It went in. Uh, fuck Summon Limit. <laughs> God shout card. Out, shout out that card. Shout out this card. A pointer. Wow. This card's broken. So you like this? This, this is... <laughs> this card's <laughs> broken. Even against Eldritch, I was siding this in, and you just flip it in the draw phase, and you're like... All right, let me fucking take the only card in your hand that matters and control yeah. your game. Just you know, knowing your opponent's entire hand is just like so insane in, in Yu-Gi-Oh. We like, can um, like you kind of just win comment. when you know like exactly what to play around. Yeah, and like Sword Soul's a powerful enough deck that like if if you know what to do, like you just kill them. So, yeah, that's about it. So yeah, uh, how did you like the deck uh, performing for you today? Oh, I loved it. It's great. So definitely, you're uh, moving forward. You feel like you, you, uh, would you make any bigger changes or anything, or mm. the way it is? Maybe take out mine. Mine. Yeah, like like when people know this card's in the format, the clip they're saying. Like, what will you? Uh, it gets way mine. Lightning storm, probably. Lightning storms. Definitely. Uh, how More, do you feel about Regeki? Regeki's strong. That card is pretty good. I, I like. I like Regeki. Like I'm telling you, that's the card you should side deck. It's, it's like, I know y'all yeah, run Chalice that negate one, but once you make them negate, you just be geeky. Mm -hmm. It just, there's they go, they're bored. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's, yeah. Pretty, it's super good right now in this format. Strong. Same like with Monster Reborn, one. it's kind of good right now, too. Because you know, a lot, like, against, like, if you just playing against, um, I don't know about Virtual Reborn. World, Look, because, Reborn won me games. I, I, already play, I already play Searchable Reborn, and I, like, feel bad every time I search it, so, like, I probably wouldn't play Reborn. I would love a Searchable game. Reborn. That sounds kind of fantastic. <laughs> the deck is, I, I'm really interested in your deck. Well, congratulations, man. Thank you guys for doing all. I, you guys all waited. They, they're from Kentucky, and we're in Tennessee, so it was quite a drive, but they all waited before they left to make sure we got deck profiles for them. So you guys, you guys are the bomb. They've yeah, been awesome. Yeah, shout outs you want to say? Shout out Clifton and Elijah. The uh, boys. Nice. boys. Kentucky boys. Kentucky. Kentucky boys. Uh, they shout took, out. Uh, I think they uh, went undefeated today, guys. He went yeah. Ranch, completely striker. undefeated. All, all three he of us went, went uh, completely undefeated. Swept. I went undefeated, but you know, my team. Yeah, my team. <laughs> 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 okay. Crazy no. Crazy <laughs> 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 no. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, shout no. out CM Games, Lexington and Cedar. And Cedar Bluff. Uh, hosting these good tournaments, it's great. We love playing Yu-Gi-Oh! here. You can check uh, them out at cardmonstergames.com uh, and you can use co uh, code HALFDUNK to save 5% off. Uh, shout out our locals through the decades game. Yeah, definitely. Local Kentucky. Awesome. Well, thank you guys. Uh, make sure to hit that uh, thumbs up button. Leave a comment for these dudes. Uh, and uh, subscribe. Subscribe. Appreciate you guys. Yes, guys. If uh, you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. I am going to be showing you more videos coming soon. So stay tuned and your boy is out. I love you.